Welcome back, everybody. It is May 12th, 2018, 7.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is for me. All right, we're following a few things. Uh, we're watching our Pacific Ocean. We're watching the Atlantic Ocean. And we're watching a rare situation developing or uh, did develop over the coast, the west side of the Chilean coast. Uh, they had a subtropical storm, which is very interesting. A... Uh, a friend of mine on Instagram sent me some information actually on this storm before I even knew uh, that it was there, believe it or not. So this is the picture I snapshotted from Instagram. He sent it to me. It is uh, His name is Sebastian, but his handle is S-E-B-A-S-B-A-R-R-J. Um, he sent me this message with this picture, and I'm just like kind of blown away by it because this is a very rare area to even have subtropical storms and I did a few a little bit of research actually on some of the that specific area and I found an actual article that says Chile never has hurricanes which I thought was very interesting because we are talking about basically a subtropical storm which is a tropical storm that takes on some characteristics of tropical uh, situations. It's got rotation, it's a powerful storm, lots of moisture, uh, could be damaging if it hits land, and we're talking right in this area, and if you notice, all these lines here are where hurricanes and, tri and um, uh, tropical cyclones and typhoons form, and you can see some of the heavy areas are the densely colored areas, and then the blue is very rare, if ever do you see tropical um, formation, uh, and we have one right in this area which is just it's a very very rare situation um, I appreciate the information Sebastian so I told him that I would uh, give him a shout out in this video because uh, I had no idea about this um, I searched that area here and there but um, very rare to see anything uh, tropical in that area so another article that I looked at was this one right here which basically confirms how rare this situation is rare subtropical storm forms off coast of Chile um, and the reason these things don't form there is because the water is just so cold. We need a sustained about 80 degree weather for these uh, tropical storms to form or tropical depressions first and then tropical storms and then we get into our hurricane categories. And you can see that clear rotation right there. It looks like this thing is actually spinning uh, clockwise because it's in the southern hemisphere as opposed to the northern hemisphere where our storms spin counterclockwise due to the rotation apparently according to some scientists of the earth so very interesting story there uh, we are also following um, the continuing possibility of a tropical storm slash category one storm to form in the Caribbean and move up into South Florida through Cuba and you could see that here as we are looking at tropical tidbits moving into May 25th yes it's a far way off but still this storm has been pretty consistent for about a week now it's changing where it wants to go a few days ago it went into the Gulf um, now we have this thing coming right over Cuba basically getting right into the Bahamas and South Florida so if I back this up here to the 24th and to the 20th um, you could see how this thing wants to shoot up sort of like Nate did uh, but this thing barrels right into Cuba and then into South Florida uh, certainly affecting the Keys, certainly affecting the Bahamas and South Florida possibly all the way up to Lake Okeechobee and then as we move even more forward in time this thing rides right up the East Coast and eventually um, if this thing stays true will basically wreak havoc on New Jersey, Chesapeake Bay we got Long Island in there, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, so on and so forth so this is an ongoing very very important situation to keep an eye on um, we can look at a different view of it from this uh, perspective here uh, this is uh, one of those uh, tropical situations uh, tropical wave we were watching that is coming a little sooner it's not going to be anything like a hurricane but it is going to bring a lot of rain and some uncomfortable situations to Florida now a lot doesn't show up on this chart because we are raised so high up in the air but as we move into that 20th date you can see that low pressure forms down by Nicaragua and then moves up between the gap of Cancun and Cuba but then makes that right turn over Cuba to South Florida so that is our new path of concern for this storm that uh, may take shape and may be an invest possibly any day now we are at uh, May 12th so we're talking uh, seven days from now they're expecting a type of formation here so we'll keep an eye on that 
Uh, just to give you an idea of what a subtropical cyclone is, um, it's a weather system that has some characteristics of tropical and exotropical cyclones. So basically it's not a full-blown tropical cyclone. We're, tra we're talking about the Chile um, trop uh, subtropical cyclone that was off the west coast there. Um, which is very rare because of those cold waters. So, um, again, a lot of weird things going on. What does that mean for a hurricane season? We're just going to have to wait and see. If we have rare storms forming uh, near Chile in cold waters, who, what's to tell what's going to form in waters that can actually support these storms, according to theory? Uh, this is our Tropical Storm 1E as well. So if we back up in time, we could see where this thing begins to originate. This is a wave that comes right off... Uh, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that country there, but basically we're moving uh, west or east to west in this loop here. Um, and then it, around the 16th is when you start seeing the first rotation, and then the clear rotation begins the 17th and the 18th. And then look at that. By the 19th, uh, we're talking a 12-hour period. We have full-blown formation here. We have 60 to 70 mile an hour winds going on. Um, and then it just fades out. So we need to keep an eye on this area as well. If you guys remember a few days ago, we had some formation going on in this area a little earlier. The season officially starts in three days, I believe, for the Pacific, the Southeast Pacific. So we are going to be watching that, and we are going to be watching, obviously, the warm waters in the Caribbean, if that's going to be the first area that we see our first tropical storm. Uh, we also have to watch the west coast of Africa because this is where the majority of our storms, at least early on in the season, tend to form. They flow off the coast of uh, Africa and then they come down through the uh, Cape Verde Islands and then they ride that belt all the way towards the U.S. Leeward Islands. Then we got Puerto Rico, Santo Domingo and the Dominican Republic and then we got Cuba, Florida. Uh, east Coast or Gulf. So that's it for now, guys. Really quick, a quick look at our Doppler for over the country. We do have some severe weather going on. I'm going to save that for another video later on this afternoon. I'm off tomorrow. But wherever you see these deep red colors, lots of moisture, guys. So we're talking uh, Iowa straight across into the Great Lakes. Uh, we have a lot of wet weather going on in the Northeast. We had rain last night here in Southeast Pennsylvania. Uh, we're expecting more, but uh, you can read this yourself, guys. We just have a lot, a big river of uh, moisture going on right over the top of the U.S. right now, and then you can see that moisture coming in from the south. Uh, right over Florida. So Florida is going to be dealing with a lot of rain and then a couple days after we need to keep an eye on that possible tropical wave and then tropical um, depression, tropical storm, and then possibly hurricane uh, within the next 10 days. So that's where we're at now guys. I will be back uh, this afternoon, if not then tomorrow during the day while I'm off. This is the area of 1E. If any of you want to look up the coordinates, I will leave them in the description box. We are 12.3 north, 126.2 west. Um, Alright guys, have a great day, have a great weekend, and we'll be in touch. Take care. Bye-bye.